Hello, this is Chris Love from the Information Lab. Been a while since I posted a good to great tip. Let's make up for it now. I wanted to show you how to add information into your titles to give the user information on what action filters are doing. First of all, I'll need to build a, a few views. Let's start with uh, something simple. Let's do, say, subcategory by sales. Super, I'm going to call this what? Now let's do order date by sales. This is when. And finally, let's do country. Change that to a field map and put sales on colour. And everything else is blue, so I'm going to change this to blue. The depth of colour just shows where sales have been made. Super, so now I'm going to turn this into a dashboard. I'm going to start with a vertical container. I'm going to put my what on the top. Then use my horizontal container just to spread out my when and my where. Let's float this here, oops, like that, and move it down to here. Super! And I can turn on filters on each of these to give me some interaction. Always best practice to leave the user wanting more, be able to explore the viz and explore exactly what they need. So the user can click on phones, they can see August 2014 was a high point. Where were those sales made? Excellent. So most of the sales were made in Germany for that. But it's very easy to get lost on what's being filtered where, especially if I click on, say, the United Kingdom. All my views are now filtering each other. Very complex. I, I'd like to add a bit of context into what's being filtered, which I can do. So now I've set up those filters and as you can see those are set up just here I can come into the titles and I can add these what's being filtered into the titles so one tip I'd use is to use a pipe to separate this so I'm going to say country colon then come to the insert menu and choose the country now that wouldn't have been there before if I didn't have the action created, because I created the action, that's arrived, and I can drop that into there. Another pipe. We're going to do the month of order date. Super. I'm just going to debold those so they don't stand out as much as the sheet name. Super. So you can see I'm filtering on August 2014. As I update Germany, this title updates. If I click off that, we're filtering for month all and Germany all. Okay, let's do the same down here. Again, pipe. Let's add in country. I'm just going to put the country title before it. Pipe. And this time it's going to be the subcategory we need. And let's debug that. Last but not least, pipe. Let's put the month in. And the subcategory. Super. So now, as we filter through, each view shows exactly what's going on. Perfect. All these update as I click on the month, that update is just there. Okay. 
That's good, but what happens if you've got more than one value in your filter? Let's create another view. Let's do subcategory by region and look at the sales across there. Let's do that on rows like that. And I'm going to create another view. Maybe let's replicate the sales by order date like before. Okay, so this is my um, what dash where, and this is um, which month, just to give them some names. So now I can set up a dashboard here, exactly the same as before. I'm going to drag this up here, which month down here. But I'd like to do the same thing. Obviously when I come into the titles just here and insert, I can only drop on the, in this case, the subcategory and the region because these two are the only ones in that view. If I come down here into the title, I can't insert the subcategory and region. I need to create the, the filter first. So let me show you what happens. I'm using this filter. Now I come into here, start with a pipe and insert. One thing to show you, if you don't get that option, is that you will need to click on the filter first to activate it. So let's come out of here, click on the filter. Now when I come into here, we've got that filter. But this time, notice it's got action, region, subcategory. So let's drop that in. I'm just going to make that on bold like I did last time for the sake of uh, consistency. Hmm. We're getting nulls in the action. It's not quite coming through as we wanted. Let me come into here and turn off that action. So I'm just going to delete it actually. Now I'm going to add these manually. So I come into dashboard and actions, add action and filter. So I want to filter when I click on what where, I want to filter the which month dashboard. I want to show all the values based on a select. But I just want to do that, first of all, on subcategory. OK. Then I'd like to do it, filter, what, where, based on which month, based on region. And so notice I'm adding these two separately. I'd like to show all values based on select. By adding them both separately, this is a way we get r around that multi-value select that we did before. So now, I can come in here, I can remove that action. This time, once I've activated that filter, I can come in here, let's just delete that. We've got the two values separately, so now I can say region. region, subcategory, subcategory. Exactly as we needed, this is showing what we need now. So just be aware of that if you're dealing with multiple values on your action. Just split them out in separate dashboard actions that will get round that issue of uh, that we saw firstly. I hope that made sense. Um, any questions, to, please do uh, drop me a note. Look forward to posting again soon. Thank you.